Hey folks, welcome back. Alright, I uh, I now did the little ADAD tappy event, and it did a quick get ready event where I'm now shooting a shockwave at the uh, electronic thinger dinger. So I'm not, again, I will have to break if we're doing AD events. No, I think I got him. <sighs> Grab the girl. Bring her to the pool. And chromonize her. Tell me the secret. What's the secret to life? The, the cold went away just like it had come, in silence, as if the indigo child had turned the hourglass by delivering her message. Everything was just as it was before. I guess that means the lesser evil. The Oracle and the Orange Clan went back to their places of power in the secret government of the world, and the Purple Clan went back to haunting us on the net. I should be happy, I guess. I've been living with Carla for three months. She's the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. Yesterday, she told me that she's pregnant. Must have been that night in Bogart's underground base. That means that our child was radiated by the chrome at Rashida, just like I was in my mother's womb. I don't know what's gonna happen now. I'm the one and only keeper of the greatest secret in the universe. What should I do with all that power? Forget it? Put it in the service of humanity? I've never dreamt about being the god. I just want to live my life like anybody else with my wife and my child. I'm afraid that destiny might have another path in mind for me. What are you thinking about, Luke? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Kind of sucks being dead and all, but, you know, glad you don't mind. Well, there it is, folks, the good ending to Indigo Prophecy. I guess I'll give my little spiel here that I normally do during the credits. Uh, you can see a written review I did of this on tiny.cc slash Togoff. I made a whole new section where I'm actually going to be doing reviews of games that I beat, but it's not going to be retroactive, meaning I'm not going to be going back and doing Dragon Age or any of that. I'm just going to be doing uh, the current games that I'm beating. So Indigo Prophecy, Planescape, and Beyond. Anyway, you know, it, it, it's a real shame with this game. Um, I really think that at the beginning, it had the potential to be perhaps the one of the greatest games that I've played. I mean, I, I really feel like the game just... The last third of it just left you saying to yourself, What the hell? Like, what's going on? And I don't know, as a gamer, I just felt extremely unsatisfied. Uh, I, had, I had so much fun discovering the characters and learning about them. Tyler and Sam's breakup, but I, I want to know what happens to them now. I want to know what happens to Tyler. I want to know what happens to Sam. And, you know, it, I mean, it, they try and build up these connections with people. And, and one thing that I think, I understand they're under time constraints, and that's, that's what really hit this company. Uh, they were even six months late on this. They missed their deadline by six months. 
So, I mean, you can imagine, you know, uh, what it was before that. And, and I really think it's the biggest thing is they were just a victim of... It, it seems like there was so much story that they wanted to get in and just they couldn't do it. It, it not make it satisfying. I, I mean, Carla and Lucas at the end was comical. I love you. I need you. I've kind of known you for a day. Like, what? It just, like, you didn't feel like a relationship ever built between them. And unfortunately, this game was based completely around relationships. You know, it was completely based around the human experience, so to speak. They tried to make Lucas this human guy. And unfortunately, it, it really failed uh, it, because of the end, and that's that's what the real shame of this is. You know, I know a big thing then is, you know, well, what could they have done to make it better? The big thing that I would have loved to have seen is that this be a halfway point of the game or something. It, it just felt like it was so short for what it could have been. It really could have added, I mean, they, they introduced this purple plan of these AI intelligence and, you know, the, the orange clan of the secret government, but all of it happens in, like, the last half hour. You, you, you get introduced to these things, but in a half hour it's over, and, and the final fight just wasn't satisfying at all. And, you know, because of that, I, I just, I really felt like the whole game kind of, quote-unquote, jumped the shark. It, it got to a point where you knew it wasn't going to get any better just because of how silly it got. I mean, what I, what I would have loved to have seen is send Carla out on a date with a blind date and have it go miserably. Give you a human connection to her. You know, give her this connection that you already kind of know her a little bit from the claustrophobia thing, that something so simple as going into the archives was difficult. So let, let us relate more to her. That, you know, she went through, you know, all she's had dates before and it's just not working out for her. And Lucas and her have to meet on better terms than at his ex-girlfriend's grave. Like, it doesn't make any sense. You know, it, their whole relationship exploded from her, ex, you know, from Lucas's ex-girlfriend's grave. And to me, that's just not a story. You know, it, it just... Uh, I... I at the end of the day, for $10, this game is more than worth it. And I don't feel unsatisfied, you know, from the money that I spent. I still feel like it was money well spent. It was that there's so much more with this engine and this storyline and this plotline they could have done. I mean, uh, I, I really would have loved to have seen Carla go out on a blind date and it fail miserably. I would have loved to have seen a backstory, a travel back in time to... T to Tyler and Carla, because they, they kind of had this friendship going, but you never really felt like they were close and trusting to each other. I, I guess they never felt like partners. Uh, I think back to Law & Order SVU, which is, I kind of thought Carla was a lot like Mariska Haggerty, um, Olivia Benson. And one thing I love about that show is that Olivia Benson and uh, Elliot Stapler, Christopher Maloney, have this great chemistry with each other. They have this great natural trust in each other, and it really comes across great in the show. And it, I think it's what makes the show as successful as it is. You just didn't feel that. So to go on some past cases where maybe Tyler saves her life or something, build up more of the human relation because it, what I found so unique about this game was it wasn't a game where you were trying to complete it. You were trying to tell a story. That's why you played as different people and different things. What was the bonus? Ah, uh, there's sequences and stuff like that, but, I mean, if it's really all that much, uh, you know. But I, I really just felt like this had the potential to be one of the greatest groundbreaking games ever because of their unique way of storytelling. You know, how did you get out of the diner? Well, I got out of it, you know, I went right through the emergency exit. Oh, is that what you, I didn't know you could do that. See, I went through and I, I got in a taxi. Oh no, there's a subway you can go to. I thought that was really cool, that even though it was the same goal, there was a bunch of different ways to solve the problem. And as the story went on, it constricted more and more. I, I didn't care so much, you know, at the end of the day, Lucas got out of the diner. He had to do that. That's fine. And there were so many different ways to do it. But by the end of the game, there's one solution. And it just... 
I don't know, I felt very unsatisfied at the end, so. But regardless, um, I really do hope you enjoyed Indigo Prophecy. I know it was a game that a lot of people haven't heard of before, and a lot of people were really excited to see more of it. And I'm glad I could deliver on that, so. Coming up, if you always want news on what's coming next in the Togoff LPs, check out uh, tiny.cc slash Togoff. It'll take you right to my forums, or you can look on my page take you right there, and uh, you can see the latest project that I'll be working on. I actually have something brand new in mind. So uh, I hope a lot of you are going to get into that, and uh, I'll see you for that LP. As always, folks, thank you very much for watching, and please tune in to the next project. Thanks for watching, folks.